All right, Danny, thank you. And you are looking live into Boston, Massachusetts. We are just a few moments away from a special report from ABC News as they are going to uh, give us extensive coverage of what is going on in Boston and throughout the area as we observe the one week anniversary of the bombings at the Boston Marathon. New York Stock Exchange is going to even observe a moment of silence. That is coming up at about uh, 50 minutes after the hour. Let's go to the special report. ABC News special report. A moment of silence. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air now because the people of Boston are about to observe a moment of silence for the victims of last Monday's marathon bombings. It was exactly one week ago at 2.50 p.m. Eastern Time that two bombs, 11 seconds apart, exploded near the finish line, creating chaos and death. Three were killed, more than 200 injured, with 48 still recovering in the hospital, two in critical condition. Today, one suspect in the deadly attack is dead. His brother, 19-year-old Jahar Zarnayev, is in Beth Israel Hospital. He was charged there this afternoon, and ABC's chief justice correspondent has more on that. Pierre Thomas, Jahar will be tried in civilian court and could face the death penalty. Yes, George, he's been charged with one count of using a weapon of mass destruction and also destroying property with a bomb. As you said, the weapon of mass destruction charge involves the death penalty if convicted. And we're also being toward, told, George, that he is cooperating or has cooperated to some degree, not able to speak, but passing information uh, to a uh, special interrogation team, uh, which has been asking him questions. Law enforcement officials will not say how cooperative he's been and if, if any of the information that he's given has checked out. Okay, Pierre, thanks very much. Let's bring in ABC Chief Investigative Correspondent Brian Ross. Brian, when I was speaking with uh, Boston Mayor uh, Menino yesterday, he said he was pretty sure these young men acted alone. Anything more on that? As of yet, there's no indication that they acted with anybody else. They are certain, given the amount of devices they found and rounds of ammunition, that they did plan more attacks. But so far, no evidence of others involved with them. So they're feeling confident that there is no current threat as of this time. And what about these other attacks? The other attacks, unknown where they were going to go, but they had other bombs, including one more of those pressure cooker bombs, apparently ready to go. And the belief was they planned to attack somewhere else where is not known. Let me go back to Pierre Thomas for a moment as well. Uh, Pierre, we know that the prosecutors and the officials were using the so-called public safety exception, questioning Jahar without reading him as Miranda rights. Does that still hold? Well, now that he's been charged, he does have a right to a, an attorney, uh, is what I've been told. Uh, we're trying to get additional details about that. Again, this is such a unique situation. We want to be precise in what we say. And we have no real idea, as you said. We know he's communicating, um, even though he can't talk. But we have no solid idea on exactly what he's been telling them. Uh, that is the million dollar secret everyone is keeping. Uh, they say it is, it is super sen sensitive what he has been saying and we're pressing to get more details. Uh, in a statement put out, uh, the attorney general and senior law enforcement officials said they're trying to exploit the intelligence but they will not comment right now on exactly what the suspect is saying. And finally, Pierre, we also know that his older brother's wife has been questioned as well. Uh, do they believe that she had any knowledge of this? So far, there's no indication that she had knowledge, and as Brian noted, uh, our information right now is that they believe at present that this was contained to these two individuals, but it's early in the investigation and all leads are being checked out. Okay, Pierre, thanks very much. It is now coming up on 2.50 Eastern Time. That was the moment, as we said, that one week ago, the two explosions went off 11 seconds apart. What you see right there is Boston Mayor Tom Menino, mayor for more than 20 years of that city. He led the city through this crisis, praised it for its resolve.
From the state of Massachusetts, Mayor Tom Menino there observing a moment of silence for the victims of the Boston Marathon bombings. Three killed in the bombings. A police officer killed in a firefight on Thursday night. It was also observed privately by President Obama at the White House and on the floor of the Senate. A moment of silence as well. We will have a full report tonight on, new, on World News. You can follow this anytime at abcnews.com. For all of us here at ABC News, I'm George Stephanopoulos in New York. Have a good day.